You're listening to The Angry Designer, where we cut through the industry bowl to help frustrated graphic designers survive and thrive. What's up, Angry Designers? Massimo here. I just thought I'd jump in quickly on this one and give you a warning that this episode is a doozy. This one had so much awesome jam-packed information that we've actually divided it up into two episodes. So although we started talking about job interview skills and what you should be doing for job interviews, what we realize is halfway through this that these skills are totally transferable to that client interview and that first time you meet a client. So no matter what the interview is, whether it's for a potential job or for a potential new client, everything you hear over these next two episodes are going to help you rock. So sit back, grab a glass of bourbon, enjoy what you hear, and stay angry. All right. Well, here we are. I again. think we are going to cheers yes, on this uh, one. Mm-hmm. Uncomfortable oh. silence followed by a. <coughs> <laughs> <laughs> you, well, you're right. The water does help that a little bit. And you know what's sad? That that was gross. Imagine if we did <laughs> without the water. It's like my, I'd be like a fire breathing dragon right now. Holy cow. Yeah, yeah. This, this week's is not the best. Um, yeah, this was you guys a, tried. You guys tried. Yeah, we, we tried. Got but a good old Canadian 40 Creek brand 40 of, of whiskey. 40. What's it called? Braveheart? No, Foxheart. Foxheart. That's why. Wow. Yeah, right. <laughs> you know why, right? Because this did come from a den. That's what it tastes like. This whiskey's pretty. That's right. Whew, on a good note, I don't know how much we'll be having of that tonight. But yes. What's up, buddy? Yes, this could be a sober uh, podcast <laughs> yeah. with a, the choice of. Uh, no, oh, you out. comedian, you. <laughs> this isn't that kind of show. Oh, my God. What's going on, dude? Uh, not a whole lot. Not a whole lot. How you doing? Jesus, I'm glad this day's over. Yes. To right? say the least. <laughs> surprise, guys. Surprise, yeah. surprise. They're, they're going to start again like that. Yep. The, no, no big whoop there. Oh, I wonder, I wonder what happened if we mixed up our weeks a little bit, you know? <laughs> just kind of like... Wouldn't that be funny if we just got on, there, on here and said... I was bored today. Yeah. <laughs> well, it was started off a slow week, but today, yes. today just pedaled to, you know why? Because Monday was just like, ah, oh, it's okay. We got some bandwidth. We got time. We got Tuesday, time. I took a oh, nap, shit. not much. And then today I was like, holy shit, I didn't God. work for two days. <laughs> yeah, I think that's what everybody yeah. suffers, right? Kind of catches up to you. I, I find Thursday's the worst day of the week, actually. Really? So Monday, people are usually slow to get into it, yeah, right? And they work, they work a little harder Tuesday morning mm-hmm. to catch up for the little for bit the of, slack. you know, catch yep. up time monday yep. morning wednesday is like and then by the end of day tuesday you're like oh i've done enough i'm good yeah wednesday you kind of slack because it's hump day yeah somebody invented this stupid hump day <laughs> thing and everybody thinks it's like it's just, we're almost over it yeah and you actually don't accomplish much yes on, on wednesdays yeah well, not here of course um because i think we're doing so much planning and everything yeah and but then, then thursday you're like it's the catch-up day that's like it's holy like, shit tomorrow's friday yeah. <laughs> and i still have two days of work to do so you're just you're just blasting yeah, through you that one. really are yeah it's it's bad that way but i i don't know why we do that I, yeah it's, it's, it's really like weird but i mean punishment you you have to kind of you know, take it easy. So you can't, you can't go 109 miles. An no, hour no, 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 no. Sometimes we do. We need to stop. And smell. You need to appreciate yeah. what yes. we've done. Exactly. Right. Exactly. That's right. That's right. So yeah. before we get uh, a little too far in it, um, yeah. welcome everybody. Welcome to the angry designer podcast, um, where, you know, two very seasoned, very handsome, very, um, you know, manly, you know, <laughs> well-versed, Handsome, might I add, graphic designers <laughs> sit there and rant and 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 give you our war stories and yeah. and, and we like literally like lay it on the table and help um help basically you know like frustrated graphic designers survive and yeah. give them ways to thrive in this space yeah. right and we got some doozy stories here with this, oh with shit this dude there's a week. lot before we get too much into this yeah. topic just want to remind everybody we've got an awesome awesome contest going on it's the end of the month almost hey it's almost I think yeah. this might be the last oh no because right. it's April. It's still April. April right. Yes. So yeah. by now, next week, it's starting mm-hmm. like next week, we're actually going to pick out our winner yes. for March. Right. Right. So yes. that's kind of exciting. Cool. Um, and cool. then, and then now we'll be officially in April's 
Right. So if right. you guys want a spare of iPods, um, you know, and you want to listen to us on the go, wherever you go, leave us a review on Spotify, leave us a review on Apple, mm-hmm. um, even Google, I think, really. Oh, and really? then when you do that, hit us up on our Instagram account and just drop us a line and say, hey, this is who I am and this is where I did this is where I left you your review, and that's it. You know, <laughs> drop us a line and um and you'll be entered in this month's draw. And then literally this will be our third one. So we'll be giving away next week. Um yeah. the next so it'll be exciting. Yes. So let's see how plays out that's very cool nice all right so now we're back to man what is like chaos lately well yes (laughs) jeez so we we took that crazy job yeah and and i mean again it was insane crazy and if Mm -hmm. anybody's gonna do it it was gonna be us and of course we haven't even finished you know the first of like 20 pieces of this project (laughs) <laughs> and the customer's already making changes oh, and adding things, really? which is frustrating as hell. And it's just okay. like, dude, yeah. <laughs> you hired us because you needed us to hit this deadline. Yes. Don't be throwing Don't in curveballs at this point. Exactly. Oh, we just need to get this checked out. Oh, we yeah. just need to, dude. <laughs> <sighs> So needless to say, it's pretty stressful. Uh, we've we've had to grow the team for this, um, mm-hmm. you know. But with that with that being said, I mean we're busy on all fronts, yep. which is fantastic news. You know, that's great. Um, we've we've been on a steady incline the past few years, mm-hmm. ever since we niched down, which I highly recommend, and maybe that'll be another episode. Mm. Um, it's really helped. Yeah. And um, and we've just been progressively getting busier and busier, which mm-hmm. is fantastic. Becoming yes. industry experts in our in our space, which is fantastic. But um, we have to keep growing the team. Mm-hmm. You know, and yeah, you can grow the team by hiring, um, pr- you know, contractors, mm-hmm. um, hiring freelancers if you need to for mm-hmm. project by project. Um, right. But we still kind of like to grow the old school team, like right. our team. Yes. Right. Like yeah. we like to bring on that team. Yeah. New new folks. Because new blood is good. Right. And, and, and we've always so. had this. It's almost like, uh, you know. It's like a pair of pants mm. <laughs> <laughs> and, and you're hungry all the time. You know what I mean? Like you just, and they you just stretch growing into the pants and then you got to buy a new pair of pants and then you got to grow and you grow into those pants. You know what I mean? Like, Oh yeah, God, I don't know where that one came from, dude. It's just the, the work keeps getting up there. So you grab, you, you, you hire somebody, then that person is stupid busy, yeah, but there's right. still a ton you're of right. work. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? Right. So it's just kind of like, so it just keeps getting there's never ever the uh, where it levels off. Well, and I don't think a business can plateau. I think it's, and it's probably good that it doesn't. Right. Yeah. I mean, it's it's like you're always, um, you know, you're, you're either growing or mm-hmm. you're downsizing or you're down. due to some unfortunate reasons, exactly. which sucks. Yeah. But it's like you're always the more. It'd be nice to plateau, but mm-hmm. that's a little kind of different, you know, business vibe. It would be cool if that's possible. Yes. But um, of course, the struggles with growing um, more than anything is hiring Mm -hmm. and and i think that's where this whole idea for tonight's topic came from right because you had a couple of interviews holy shit we've had some interviews and again you know some of them were uh, some of them were again (laughs) just when you don't think interviews could get any worse than they have (laughs) it's just like who the hell who is this person (laughs) um and and uh, you know and again i okay so reluctantly or not reluctantly i'm proud to say that i have been in business for myself for you know over 20 years Mm -hmm. so I've completely forgotten what it's like to have to be interviewed. Yes. I'm always the one who's interviewing. You're always the interviewer. So this yeah. is interesting, right? Because yeah. we're on opposite sides of the totally, table here. Totally. I've been on a thousand interviews. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, again, good viewpoints here. And, yes. you know, the funny thing is, um, obviously, the people who listen to us who are freelancers, different story. Yes. You know, a lot of these yep. skills, you know, that we're going to talk about tonight, these little traits, they'll help them. There's no yep. doubt they'll yeah. help them in presentations and such. But tonight we thought that we'd actually cover the whole interview process, yeah. right? Yes. Cover what people are looking for, the struggles people have, like what actually to do. In a, honestly, it never ceases to amaze me. Yeah. How poor people are at fucking interviewing. This is true. I don't, know, right? Don't you want to fucking work? <laughs> you went to school to be a, a designer, right? Or you're passionate about this. Then why are you blowing it at the interviews? St- like, do you just not want to work? Are yes, you? Yes, yes. Oh, dude. I know. It's. I, I, but but this is the thing, and this was the impetus behind this, was I, I, w- I am a lousy interview. Mm-hmm. I am terrible. I, I don't know why. I don't, I have no idea. I, I remember going to jobs and yeah. I'm like, yeah, I've done that. Okay, yeah, I can do this. That I've done. This is fine. Yeah, I got that. 
and never got hired. Jeez, <laughs> but it's, really it's though? Because eh? I think I was nervous. I was like a fucking yeah, nervous and that's rat. legit, right? Yes. Well, because and that any, comes across. It's like it's like it's like they're vampires. They just yes. suck <laughs> yeah. every sort of you know like you, like yes. any sort of normal conscious that you're used to. Anything that you you're like, oh, this is the kind of person I am. When you go into an interview, it just sucks all that out, yes. and it's just like what's left—an empty shell, a that's babbling right. fool. Yeah, that's right. You're like you're like Tom Cruise, man. You just eat the. <laughs> <laughs> you don't yeah. let him leave the corpse there, you know? Oh, jeez. Oh, and that yeah. was Tom Cruise last week. Yeah. Not even Tom Cruise 30 years ago. <laughs> yes! yes. Sick Tom Cruise burn. I love it. Oh, jeez. He's, he's hanging out with poor Will Smith right now, right? <laughs> oh, wow. yeah. We just went there. Mm-hmm. So, um, Topical. You know, so yeah. interestingly enough, um, I figured, well, not interestingly enough, but I guess this is a good topic. Mm-hmm. I figure that everybody's going to struggle with, and hopefully there'll be parts here that everybody's going to take something out of. Yes. Right? And we'll do different viewpoints. Yep. We'll cover a whole bunch of shit here. I'm, yes, we will. You know, we're going to start from, like, my take as an agency owner mm-hmm. uh, versus, you know, typical shit. You yep. know, we're, we got some formats to talk about. We're even, I, mean, I, I even brought our actual interview guide here. Yes. You know, the Z Factor interview guide. And I'm going to talk how we go through that. Yeah, so there's, there's no... And I mean, I find that more and more agencies are, are doing this kind yes. of shit, right? Like, there's three kinds of interviews, mm-hmm. right? Yep. There's a structured interview, mm-hmm. semi-structured interview, right. and then a completely unstructured interview. Right. Right? Which, who knew? Yeah. This is a legitimate thing. Yeah, exactly, right? I, I find that... And I've been on pretty much all of these. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, what now, what do you think our so, kind of okay, format is? Well, okay. I mean, I, it's pretty straightforward, right? The difference mm-hmm. is, is like, you know, the structured one is everything basically adheres to some sort of, you know, protocol and, and yes. follows the same guide. And it's just like almost like a checkbox, checkbox, right. checkbox. Right. Those really suck. Those are uh, those are really dry and they're very difficult to they navigate. They are difficult, and I don't right? know whether that you know, gets you anywhere. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure if maybe certain, I think that's just the, the type of environments that need to put a body in a position uh, and that's it, right? right? They're like, yeah, do you breathe? Yes. yes. <laughs> do you have a yes. pair of pants? Yes. <laughs> yes. I, I think that's kind of what those, right. um, you yeah. know, or or maybe those are for higher volume places. Yeah, maybe, they could right? very well be, yeah. Um, and then you've got semi-structured, which mm. obviously there's a whole, there is a guideline of questions that you need to have, some, mm-hmm. some staples, but there's also this whole free, free flow aspect to it. Yes. Where, you're trying to gauge some other conversation. I think that's where you're kind of doing a little bit of a mix, yep. right? Structure with personality. Yes. And then the whole unstructured interview is just kind of like you wing it as you go along, which right. sounds sloppy, but there is some sort of method to that madness. Yes, I would agree with that. So our process here has always been a two-part, right? Yep. Two interviews. Mm-hmm. First one is semi-structured, Yep. right? We have a list of questions, obviously some some pretty structured questions typical shit right mm-hmm. um then we've got some more topical questions with the, the, the conversation starters and then we literally you know end up just kind of like you know free flowing right yeah. that's usually yeah. the first interview right okay so that's kind of like well, i'd say that's why it's semi structured and if they make it to the second interview mm-hmm. that one is completely unstructured because if they're lucky enough to get it to that second interview, right, right that's to gauge their personality. This is like, I, I've always said that I only want to hire people that I want to have a beer with. <laughs> Seriously. Yeah, right. And you can't do that right. if it's always structured because everything is so by the book. It's so much bullshit, right? Yeah. So yeah. this is where the second interview is like, okay, you know, they do the qualification. Now let's just chat. Yeah. Often here, that second interview is just with me. Oh, really? Often, oh. right? Not only, not only, like, you know, We've had, you know, some other people in there, but more yeah. times than not, it's just like, all right, yeah. I got to like this person. You, yeah. You're, you know, generally, because I'm kind yeah. of a pain in the ass <laughs> and, it, and I'm really easily annoyed. So if somebody, so, yeah. if I'm just like, no, man, I can't handle it. You know, yeah, you guys are a lot more easy going. <laughs> yeah. You're the one with the most, more vested interest in this, right? We tried. We tried. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, all right, you seem really nice. Let's give you a shot. And after two weeks, I'm like... They walk into the room and it's like, just I like, just, oh. and sets your teeth on edge. It's like, oh, geez, that's <sighs> never good. No, that's, that's not good, good, right? Fortunately, that hasn't happened to us a lot. No, it hasn't. Which is, it really has. We're very Sad, lucky in that it's way. Funny. It's funny. It's, it's like you're giving people a chance, right? But yeah. I do find that this process is really important. And again, it, even recently, we talked about this, right? Yep. So we hired um, our second last hire, mm-hmm. right? Our, she, we hired her, you know, I don't know, whatever, a few months back, right? Probably about yeah. six, seven months back. Yeah. And, um, the first interview, so we narrowed down all these these resumes, right? Down yeah. to three. Yeah. Then we, you know, interviewed these three to two, yeah. right? 
and it was um, who we hired, mm -hmm. and it was this dude, right? right? So she was from Peru, he was from Brazil, and it was like, okay, it was yeah. uh, South a American South American type American of, battle, yeah. Sure, right? <laughs> and um, first interview then with them, the, yeah. the structured interview, right? Mm -hmm. She came across as, she was really good at what she did, but a little um, elite, a little high and mighty, right? Oh. You know, very, you know, design elite. And I'm like, oh, mm. dude, this is so not like Snobby you designer. would die in our yeah. culture. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And if, if it's not just me being the one who would kill her. <laughs> um, and this dude seemed like he was really cool. He was chilled. He loved design, but yeah. he was really realistic about it. Mm. And, you know, and, and he was a lot more like chilled, relaxed, cool about it. Right. Yeah. Um, so it was like, okay, good, right? We reviewed, we reviewed the notes in the meeting, this, that, right? And it was like, okay, well, let's give them a second interview, right? Mm -hmm. So of the three, these are the two, the two South Americans, mm -hmm. let's give them each a second interview. Let's yeah. keep it a little bit more unstructured, right? right? right. And of course I'm pulling all my tricks and this yeah. and that, but let's just, let's have a conversation. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm glad we had that unstructured conversation uh -huh. because all in the setting, you're breaking down barriers. Yeah. You're finding out a little bit more about their personalities. And mm -hmm. that's the whole point of this is to actually exactly. show a little bit more. Right. And um, she ended up absolutely not being, you know, a design diva mm -hmm. at all. She was definitely not. And he actually totally came across as more like a control freak ah. that wouldn't have been able to work in this kind of environment. Interesting. Needless to say, she is literally one of the best hires we've ever had. She's a hard worker. Oh she's amazing. She's she good. she brings the opposite of design, design elitism. <laughs> if you talk about design with her, she's very smart. She's a very oh, yeah, smart she girl about shit. this, right? She knows her shit. She really knows her shit. But, you know, she is the quirkiest, <laughs> the, like the complete opposite of design elitist. Like, yep, if exactly. you look up quirky, yeah. she's one of two people in the dictionary. So, and and I mean, I mean bless her. She's amazing. Yeah, amazing, this girl she's is. Awesome. Yeah, so, yeah. good yes. good for that, right? Yeah, yeah. So, this process works in that sense because that, that whole unstructured really breaks down those barriers. Right. Right? So, you got somebody who's, you know, playing playing the part a little yeah. bit and then when it's when the when the veil is down it, you know, he's got to be himself he reveals himself to mm -hmm. be a uh, uh, egomaniac or, or seemed like can't it, it work really with did yeah kind of player it was going to be difficult yeah it was going to be difficult exactly totally right yeah because i mean I, i'm not necessarily looking for the typical things that yes. everybody does yeah i i genuinely can't say what other people look for, mm -hmm. right? I've been on, I, I've helped out a friend and she's a couple of friends who've had their agencies and I'm like, yeah, I'll help you with your interview process, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm very different than they are. They're yeah. very structured. Really? Oh, dude. But yeah. uh, I'm a lot more free free flowing, just kind of like, just kind of take it as a, but I'm looking for different things, Yeah. right? Um, so, uh, so what I personally am mm -hmm. looking for and what I've looked for over the past 20 plus years, you know, running Z Factor, yeah. um, obviously, creativity and a, and a strong portfolio is important it's huge but the thing is it's but far from the most important thing right that i there, right this is what i like to and hear and it's yes, true exactly. it's like yeah you know like you see anybody can fake superstar shit yes and you know we've got a town that has like three amazing design schools within an hour from mm -hmm. us four actually oh, yeah. and so you're always seeing good work Mm -hmm. But I mean, it's so far past the good work. And that's yeah. what people don't realize. Yeah. Just because your work might be great, yeah. that doesn't mean shit. Yes. Right? If, yeah. If you're, yeah, if you're a, a, an asshole and you're not no. easy to work with. Well, and that's it, right? If you're not easy to work with. And, yeah. and there's so much to it, right? Like, I'm looking for shit like competence. Yes. Right? Yeah. I need people that can actually, you know, get shit done, mm -hmm. not have to be nursed every minute, right? Yeah. Yeah. Like, when you're in design school, they give you two weeks to do a project. Yeah. That's not realistic. <laughs> Right? God, I wish to have two weeks. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Damn. But Ooh. I mean, seriously, I need I need, you know, to look and, and, and gauge that, you know, when I give them something, it's gonna get done. Yeah. Right. And they're not gonna be bothering me every five minutes. What about this? What about like, <laughs> dude, that's not what I'm looking for, right? Yeah. Um, I need people, you know, like who are capable of learning. Yes. Right? Yeah. Seeing tasks through, getting shit done. Um, the the big thing is self motivated. Yeah. Right. If yes. somebody That's comes huge. and bothers me every five minutes, yes. okay, I've done that. Now yeah. what? Yeah. Dude, oh. like, you know, okay, Caitlin at the back, she, when she's done her jobs for the day, yeah. she doesn't just sit there and surf the web and, nope. and fuck the dog. Nope. She will actually jump onto launch list, yep. look for a job. Take it on. And she's like, yep, 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 I'll do this. Yep. Amazing. Yes, exactly. right? That's the shit that you need on a team. Right. Yeah. Um, obviously, you know, we're, when, when I do actually scan for work, I'm not actually scanning for the creativity. Hmm. Okay, so here's the other part, right? Because creativity, I feel, comes as more mature you get, the more creativity comes, right? Otherwise, yeah. you're just gonna. So I'm actually looking for more like skills, 
Hmm. Okay. I'm looking to actually see if they understand design principles and how well do they understand them. So again, I don't care if it's a great design or it's really shitty design, right? Yeah. Yeah. But like, do they understand hierarchy? Mm -hmm. How well do they understand white space? So yeah. I'm not critiquing their creative. Yeah. I'm critiquing their layouts, yeah. right? And you know how it's all structured. I'm looking for skills. So um, mm -hmm. conveniently enough, mentioning Caitlin, yep. right? Who uh, is, is one of our rock stars here. Mm -hmm. So in interviewing her, her portfolio, um, I mean, it was a great portfolio. Yeah. It was great. There was more, she was very, um, how should I put this? She had a lot of similar industry experience. Wow. Okay. So there was very little, if any, digital or web work. Oh, right. Okay. And it was oh. mostly like brochure, layout, ca catalog, right? Because she came from the travel industry. She's awesome at layout. Right. And that's it. Oh I God. looked at this and, I, and, and you know, like yeah. going through it and reviewing the notes afterwards, you know, um, the, the, the comment was, well, it wasn't the most exciting stuff. Mm -hmm. And I was like, you're well, wrong. I, yeah. <laughs> it's not that, you know, the ideas and everything, you know, she picked pictures. She did she, for the jobs that she was given. She knocked it out of the park. But yeah. her layout skills were fucking mm, amazing. So good. And I was like, that's so what we good. need because. Yeah. You can then take that, transition yeah. that to web, give her some web guidance. Yep. Boom. She's got wedge. She understands yep. grids. She had white space, but mm -hmm. people didn't see that. Mm -hmm. They were looking for big pop, wow ideas, yeah. crazy ass logos, yes. right? So no, I mean, she was, again, one of the most amazing designers we've hired in years. Big time. Um, and again, another big thing time. that we always look for is things that I would consider errors. Right? Yeah. Like shitty little things, like sloppy things, obviously like typos. Yeah, typos. Right? Things that aren't aligned, aligned. right? <laughs> and again, it, God knows that drives me nuts, right? But I mean, again, these are the little things. So I'm not looking for the big creative ideas. Yeah. I'm looking at the details the because- fundamentals. Yeah. Absolutely, yeah. right? Yeah. So this is where people kind of think that they always have to have their their biggest, craziest um, you know, shit out there. Yes. That's not the case. No, that's no. absolutely not, yeah. So other, other things that I do, um, I, I push people mm -hmm. in interviews. Oh, you do? Right. Well, and and I will question their work, even yeah. if it's just lies. Oh. Right. And I'll push it because I'm trying to see how they handle criticism. Oh. In an interview. So it's uncomfortable. That's good. Right. And I yeah. want to know what the hell, like, I want to know what, what the pushback thinking. is. Yeah, right. Yeah. Well, obviously, I'm going to question and challenge their thinking, of course, but I want to know, like, number one, what are they going to defend? Mm -hmm. Are they going to give me bullshit responses? Yeah. Are they going to be like, wow, I never thought about that. Thank you. Like yeah. you can get so much from just how they react yes. to some constructive criticism. Yes. Right. And they're coming <laughs> here. So you're damn yeah. straight. I can give it to them. <laughs> and, you know, they will get it at some point. Uh, at some point. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, but it's true, right? Like yeah. I will yeah. push to get some sort of reaction out of people. So that's great. Well, and, and it's kind yeah. of dickish, but it's true. Well, not necessarily, but it's, it's almost like you, you, you're, you're, Telling them to defend their work, mm -hmm. saying, mm -hmm. "Look, why, what were your, what was, what's your process behind this? What were you thinking? You're right. While you were doing this, and I do, I will. And, hit if up they, and, and I'm sure some of them have had a good response. Oh, there's been be, some, and some are total bullshit. And responses. some are just like, wow, well, you're all right. <laughs> right. Yeah, exactly. And you can see through that. And that's oh, a, dude, that is a great test. And you know what's funny? I call people out on bullshit. <laughs> I've had that. They feed me bullshit. I will look at them and, like, and nod, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. And when they're done. <laughs> And I'm more than one occasion, but like, okay, <laughs> so that's the typical answer that you're supposed to give. Yeah. Now, give me the real answer, real not answer, the yeah. bullshit. Yeah. And it's just like this shock, right? Because again, the whole point of this is making people feel uncomfortable, right? Yeah, yeah. Like, again, our, our interviews are like circus acts, man. <laughs> like, but is it making people uncomfortable or is it relaxing them? It what relaxed both both of the situations when yeah. I called them on the bullshit. Exactly. Relaxed. One me, I even hired. Oh, yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. See, now I think that's great. Like, Absolutely. just because because I think a lot of people they go into interviews and they they don't know how to act and they yep. don't know what to expect and with with these kind of questions and, and so somebody comes back and says. Psh, yeah. You're just saying something yep. that you read online. Yep. Come on, give me a break. Right. Tell me the real. Yeah. Tell me really how you think. Give me really what you think. That would exactly, be such a refreshing dude. way to do it. You and know? I mean, you have to keep it real. You uh, do. Otherwise, you're you never going to get that that real, you, you know. Yeah, answer. Yeah, you broke down that person. Not break, broke them down, <laughs> but you know what I mean? You kind of. We wait till they're hired before we do that. <laughs> then we break them. 
No, but you just kind of open them up to to be a little more open. Absolutely. To you know this conversation is more of a human element. Absolutely, thing, right? absolutely. Yeah, we're not robots here. <laughs> <laughs> but I have interviewed some. <laughs> yes. Um, I, I, I honestly, um, the engagement part is yeah. huge. How yes. engaged are they during an interview? Right. I want people that are engaged with the space, are engaged with me. They're engaging yeah. to speak to because mm -hmm. if they're engaging to speak to in this conversation, that means the customers will appreciate them. Other mm -hmm. people who work here would appreciate them. Yeah. So I, I, you know, I kind of play with play off of that, right? Yeah. And see, you know, how much conversation can I get out of them? Yeah. And I get some of them have been introverts, and that's totally cool. Mm -hmm. And you recognize that, but you can still be engaged even if you're an introvert, this right? That's true. This Absolutely, true. be engaged in the moment. Yeah, right, and, and be excited by the by the design, like by the the prospect of, of oh, what geez, you're talking about. Oh, and that's about. exactly you know what I mean. Right? Like this is because even introverts, I, I'm an introvert. I get jacked about this kind of right? stuff. Right, exactly. And then you, you know just I mean? talk like, away for yeah. the next. And then you could talk for for hours about that kind of absolutely, stuff. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. Um, other things, you know, we will um, if they have jobs. Mm -hmm. Right. I, I'll go through the resume. Right. And or sorry, their previous work experience. And I'll ask them about their previous work experience and uh -huh. I'll poke yeah. to see how much they're actually going to say about it. <laughs> Are they going to smack talk their uh -huh. managers? Uh -huh. Are they going to talk? Because I want to find out. Give me a bad situation in your past. Right. And, you know, the, the ones that, you know, never make it to second interview, the ones that bash past employees. Oh. Holy shit. Like, dude, I interviewed oh, somebody really? once. <laughs> and you know what they said? They were like, I just thought I'd let you know that. Um, um, customers love me where I work right now. And if I was to come work for you, I'm sure I could poach a lot of them for your company. <laughs> and I was just like, oh, I think we're done. Yikes, and really? who was your employer yeah. again? <laughs> like it was that brutal. Wow. I know, right? That's cool. How, 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 not only cool, but how do they think that this would work in their favor? Exactly. Like, well, why the fuck would I want to hire somebody <laughs> like that? You know, it's just like, great, when you're pissed off with us yeah, and you're, you're going to go gonna elsewhere. Do the same thing, yeah. <laughs> needless to say, I guarantee you none of those customers would have left. Oh, yeah, yeah. Fucking ridiculous, Holy dude. Yeah, that's, that's pretty bad. That's pretty bad. Balls. Yeah, I know, I know, right? And even if it's just not how they talk about their old uh, employers, even just how they talk about their employees or the people yeah, they work people with, they work right? With, yeah. Or or just their teachers in school. It's just it's it's just a good indication of what you're in for, right? Yeah. How difficult is this person yeah. to hire, you know? Yeah. Um, and obviously the, you know, the, the, the big ones, of course, I'm always looking for eye contact, body mm -hmm. language, right. Right. Um, you know, and for what it's worth, maybe I'm a little old school about that, but I genuinely do think that if somebody's looking at you when they're talking, this goes back to being engaged. Yeah. Yeah. Totally. Right. Fake yeah. it. Look yeah. through me for all I care, <laughs> but like be looking at the, if, if you're constantly looking at the table while they're talking. Or the, yeah, exactly. Dude, or, I hate or, that. Right? Or this. Um, well, 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 what I did was. <laughs> yeah. Knees flash like, looking up and to the left means you're lying okay there's some body exactly. language looking up and yeah. to the right means you're thinking for the right answer <laughs> this is just psychology right exactly this is, oh, this is pretty dude. easy stuff to, to decode so yeah don't ever try that <laughs> yeah no really right and uh, and as an employer and this sounds really sh selfish but um you know we work flat here right we don't have hierarchy we don't have different levels we're a pretty flat organization yep, yep. so i'm trying to assess what other ways can they help us mm -hmm. so although i might be hiring for a production artist i might be hiring for a web designer what else can you do yeah. oh i've got experience in photography or i really have a passion in illustrating or whatever yeah sweet yeah okay that means this you can great. handle the job now yeah. and potentially in the future you can then grow i could Something invest else. time energy get you in some courses and get you to a new place yeah so um again not just looking for the typical i've got great creative check it out right yeah. that's totally not it yeah well our last hire he was hired for uh, like client management right yeah yes and and he's he's done one of the best brochures I've ever oh, seen. Oh really? He's just, just like, looked at that much. Damn, he's got a great layout sense. Like so and again, just, so so this was somebody who we interviewed, yeah. and he had worked as an account manager in another place, and he's like, well, design was one of those things I was passionate about, mm -hmm. but I've never been able to do. I never went to school. It was just something I, I did. So that was his thing. So it's like, okay, great. well, we need an account manager, but who can do this? If you're interested in design, yeah. Okay, we'll give you shots. We'll let you have little projects and build it up. Yeah, so, yeah. and literally, I think sadly, he's only managed two clients <laughs> and he's literally become he's, one of our, he's grown into one of our yes. regular designers. This is right? what I'm talking about. Our pants keep getting bigger and yeah, bigger, right? And bigger, right? right? Well, because again, it's just like, holy shit, we got a new job. Can you yeah. take it? This is in his capabilities. Yeah, and he can give do it to it, him. Which is, which is awesome. Jeez, I mean, he's like become icon king, right? He's, he's like two people here now just. Well, 
They create a Mac is, I thought. Both of them. Both of them, both them are both really are, good. Oh, yeah. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Oh, no, no. That's what I'm saying. Two nice. of them here, right? And again, even Mac. Yeah. Okay. She's she's a PM coordinator yeah. who she always had a, a passion for graphic design. Mm-hmm. And over the past four or five years, we've just kind of, you know, been like teaching her a little bit at a time. And again, you don't have to go to school to be a good graphic designer. You just have to be driven. You have to be passionate about it. Yeah. She has She has an eye. Yeah. Right. She's got the account management, so she's helping the business, and then she helps other people with all. And like yeah. literally, she's the she's the icon queen. Yeah. So between the two of she's them, amazing. right? Yeah. Like it's like you need icons. Send them to them, and they correct, yeah. and they do a great job <laughs> yeah, at custom exactly. icons. So again, funny, right? Yeah. What else can they do for me? Like, what yeah. is the potential yeah. other outside this role? Yeah, <laughs> and that's great because I mean, you you your your adaptability is huge. Like if you're if you're going to go into a role, and you're going to do one thing, mm-hmm. you, and that's all you're going to do. You're really not. We're like Swiss Army. No, it's here, true. Right? So, so interestingly enough, the way I always tell people, they're like, "Well, where do you? What, what do you think I should do? Go work for a big agency mm-hmm. or go work for a small one?" Mm-hmm. I'm always, always, always going to say, "Go work for a small one," yes. because a small one needs more from you. Yes. Okay. Yeah. I know somebody who she left here. Um, it happens once in a while. <laughs> she got an awesome job downtown Toronto at an awesome agency. So I was like, "Go for it. Good. Yeah. You're young. Good go you. live. Go live the big. You know, the big town life. That's, that's yeah. totally cool." But it was a big agency, and mm-hmm. she was a production artist. Yeah, she worked production yeah. for like a year and a half. Yeah, that was that's it. Yeah, right. Kind of sucks. Yeah. right. When she was here, or when we bring in somebody here, well, we need somebody to be versatile. Like you said, the the Swiss Army knife. Yeah, we the more you will learn more in a smaller agency because a smaller agency needs more from you. Yes. Exactly. So if you want to take your skills from like A to C, yeah, you know, within twelve months. Go work at a small agency, exactly. even A to D. Holy shit, yeah. A to Z. Yeah, totally. If you're willing to learn totally. at a small agency, if you're if you're yeah. willing to go from graphic design to web design, pick up some UX, do account management, shit, dude, you can have all of that. Yeah, you know, within two three years, you can run a whole place. And I think we're yeah. pretty transparent here. Like, we give people as much freedom yeah. to to grow as they want to, mm-hmm. right? Literally, like I think we went from you know, uh, <laughs> I don't know. Needless to say, right? <laughs> Needless to say, it's yeah. it, they're only um, limited. By what they're willing to learn. But what you, yeah, exactly. And if you're not willing to learn anything new, then. But at a big agency, you're not going to have that. that you wouldn't that, have that. Yeah, no, you exactly. wouldn't have that. Right? And if you did, if you said somebody gave you the opportunity, you've, you've been production for a year and a oh, half. Somebody it. gave you an opportunity to be, uh, you're going to do the PowerPoint stuff. Yeah. Uh, I don't like PowerPoint. So oh. what are they going to do? They're yeah, going yeah. to they're gonna stick you right back into back the production. Back into production, and You're right? never going to go anywhere from yeah. that, right? Yeah. So. So uh, yeah, I, I always recommend the small agency. Yes. But anyway, that's regardless, right? Little bias because we're I guess you could say we're, the small medium agency. Yes, exactly. So um so so those are things I look for, yeah. right? But there's also a lot of red flags which we kind of talk about, yeah. right? And I mean I think everybody needs to be aware of these red flags because these aren't just for me. These are just total bullshits across the floor, right? Mm-hmm. So um obviously number one, I can't fucking stand buzzards. <laughs> Okay, we had a podcast <laughs> about this. <laughs> buzzards back. People who use buzzwords after buzzwords, acronyms after they're like, you know, talking about, oh, I'm so great about UX, UI, but user journeys, and once I figure out my personas, and it's just like, dude. Instead of saying the buzzwords, yeah, yeah. tell me what the hell you're actually you doing saying? to do those. <laughs> don't don't just throw the word out there. Half the time when you call them out on it, <laughs> they give you the worst like response. It's completely opposite. Exactly. I'm all about synergy. Yeah, actually. synergy. Yeah. I feel synergy is important for a brand. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever. However, asymmetry has its advantages within the artwork of the brand. Exactly. So, exactly. No, dude, like, Yikes. okay, so buzzwords, yeah. huge red flag Don't say across that the board, right? Anybody exactly. interviewing with a but no, so stay away from that. Yeah. Um, sadly, people who are fucking unprepared. Like, and that happens all the time. Like, yeah. you know, they, they scramble, they, they, they give you an outdated resume, you know, <laughs> they, um, right. Like they, 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 the wrong phone number, right. You're asking them questions. They're like, Oh shit. Um, um, Oh, right. I, uh, Oh, I should have brought that in. Yeah. They're just oh. not, pre- it's just kind of like they showed up. It's almost like that old visual of a guy showing up in a meeting with a briefcase and everything's <laughs> falling out. Like, it's just kind of like, you feel like this is because oh, that's yeah. a reflection of them. It totally is. Because you, you figure if you're going to be this unprepared for an interview, an interview, yes. an interview to get yes. into this place, what and, are you going to be like in your let's real face work? It, most of the time, you've got more than an hour to prepare for an interview, right? <laughs> well, so, yeah, you got a long, yeah. long time to do that. Um, Big red flag. Yep. People who are vague 
or avoid answering questions, oh. right? They just kind of ramble and yeah. talk in directions because they actually don't know what the hell they're talking about. <laughs> you know, I, I we just had an interview and, and you know, I asked her about, you know, branding. I yes. literally was like, oh, so is it, how much do you know about branding? Oh, I did quite a bit of work in branding. You know, when I was working at this company, we were downtown Toronto and, and we were doing A-B testing and asking people different questions. I'm just like, so what the so, fuck did any of this? Yeah, she went yeah. on for about 10 minutes. Awesome girl. And I was just like, what the hell does this have to do with branding yeah. though? <laughs> Nothing at all. Nothing. She she obviously did something, but it was yeah, more it was, yeah, yeah. data. <laughs> not, so it's just like avoid mm. or, you know, uh, or they ramble on because they just can't answer the question. Right. It's okay to actually be like, you know what? Not my strong suit yep. or not, you know, I, I haven't done as much. I'd rather somebody be honest yep. than sit there and try to be like, oh, shit, you just, you just <laughs> lost that one, man. Jeez. Um, oh. Obviously, unprofessional. Yep. Okay. That's terrible. And that is terrible. And I mean, again, there is some sort of ethics and, and I get it. People are like, oh, that's not the world right now, man. You know, this creative no. agency, you should be like that. But no, no, there's still some candor. There's still some ethics here, business ethics. There's still some professionalism that has to be, it's still a business. Yeah. Right. And the difference between an amateur and professional mm -hmm. is you're getting paid to do something. Yes. So if you're coming in acting like an amateur, you're always going to do free work. Yes. Right. That's not that's not what we're here for. That's yeah. not what I'm hiring people for. I need yeah. people to actually show me their shit. Yes. So, you know, rolling in, being a little too unprofessional, maybe yeah. a little too casual. It's OK to warm into that. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. But again, there's there's, there's yeah. a certain there's a certain line that you yeah. really shouldn't cross initially. Exactly. Yeah. And yo, bro, you being <laughs> friends right. with the guy, you know, like I don't mind ooh. if they leave talking <laughs> like that because the conversation led to that. Yeah, if it which is only okay. if it led exactly, there. exactly. But don't you know, like it's just like, <laughs> yeah, you, you you can't start there, right? <laughs> um, big red flag. Okay, huge. Lots of jobs on their resume Ooh, or um, short durations yes. of jobs. Yes. Okay. So for a little while, That's it seemed huge. like it seemed like a lot of people were job jumping. Yeah. And I get it. Sometimes people think they can get more experience or they mm -hmm. can get better pay hikes. But the problem is you see that, you know, our average tenure here is like, what, six, eight years? Like yeah. everybody stays yeah. here, right? Yeah. No, we're at about six. Like, six. and that's only because we got a, a bunch of young people now. Mm -hmm. But like, I mean, we've got some people 12 years, 10 years. Yeah. I mean, you've been here forever. Like, yeah. you know, people stay. So all of a sudden, if somebody's jumping and you're seeing a six month job here, a mm -hmm. four month job here or whatever, dude, like there's That's, a story here. Yeah, exactly. Is it, is it, is it, you, you just get bored easy? Is it, you're difficult to work with? Dude, I just interviewed somebody um, at the beginning of, of this, no, last week, last week. And she, that's what she had in her resume, all these short jumps. Mm. And then when you start asking questions, it's like, oh, yeah. well, that was actually a co-op. Uh, so that's why, so it's like, okay, so you lied because yeah. you didn't say it was a co-op, yeah. you said it was a job. <laughs> and oh, that was just a short stint working uh, with my mom. Yeah. And then it was just like, oh, wow. <laughs> like that's, so literally you have yeah. no yeah. real, no Real world experience. <laughs> experience and that's what but again a red flag <laughs> yeah that's that's really bad needless to say she wasn't interviewed back yeah. for the second interview uh, yeah. you know it's funny because I, for whatever reason i wasn't listening to my music at that mm -hmm. point and i was listening to oh that my God. i was listening to that interview and it was just like she was talking like this and it was just really kind of it's just, <laughs> just annoying and and mm -hmm. compared to the first one that you had was she was she was very, very outgoing and, and very, really totally right like a huge difference huge difference yeah, right yeah but anyway <laughs> she yeah. just had that little giggle hey, hey. <laughs> dude <laughs> it's not a good giggle um bad answers yeah Big red flags, Ooh, that's bad huge. answers, or yeah. people who don't elaborate on the on those questions or oh. on the answers, right? They're just like, uh, so you know, so I see that you worked at you know this agency. Yes, yes. I did. <laughs> that was it. Do you want to tell me more about it? Yeah, it was fun. <laughs> I worked there from. 84, 84 until 86. Oh, holy 84, dude. Yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> you really I was, went there. I, I, went, I went old school. Holy. I'm, I'm just imagining her having a great big pile of hair, curly <laughs> hair, you know, the bangles <laughs> and stuff like that. I don't oh, know dude. why. I don't know why. Where are you going to get this <laughs> I don't know where oh I, I don't know why I went there, but yeah, this is that is terrible. You have to huge red flag. Yeah, you gotta elaborate. Like, 
So what did you do there? Yeah. Like it's a natural. If I have to pull answers yes. from you, that's just that's just a prelude to problems, exactly. dude. Exactly. No, that's one no. of those people that will just okay. I'm done. What do I do now? You know, they're going to be in your yeah. office nope. every five minutes, going, "Okay, I'm done. What do I do now?" Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, if that, right? <laughs> oh, horrible, horrible. Yeah, that's terrible. Um, okay, so this one, you know, red flags, and this isn't just for me, hmm. you know, but because I'm old school, this is important. But I hate to say it, eye contact and handshakes make a difference handshake so eye contact is you know that that whole nervous system everybody talks about that the handshake thing might not be on everybody's radar anymore if somebody has a good handshake you know Mm. they don't acknowledge it but what people do acknowledge is a shitty handshake (laughs) if somebody gives their hand it's like you're holding onto a wet (laughs) fish (laughs) like what the hell that's but the worst. You know, like it's it's true, right? But so, you go in and you crush their well, yeah, and don't hand, cr- like, exactly because you're doing this, right? This is what you do. If you're leaving them something to remark, <laughs> yeah. you did it wrong. <laughs> so you don't crush it, but you don't like just <laughs> the, the wet fish. Everybody exactly. knows what that's like. You touch it, and it's just like, ooh, oh, there's nothing. You know what? It's so it's, it's a good confidence starter yeah. right to give a good firm handshake totally. make sure you make and if you accidentally miss that handshake because because mm-hmm. uh, you're looking at them in the eyes when you said nice to meet you hand out that's okay yeah. acknowledge it and go in for a second as a joke but the reality is people will subconsciously appreciate a handshake because totally. it's like i've got nothing to hide here i am yeah, yeah. right it's a and human connection it, really. it really is it yeah. really is yeah. um red flags Gossiping, talking bad about past employees. This I talked to you about, Ooh. right? This is a huge red flag. You just can't pull that shit. Yeah, Even good. if you have had bad experiences at mm-hmm. your jobs, don't come across as a crybaby yeah, about exactly. it, right? Exactly. Bad, bad mistake. Yeah. Um, so yeah, get rid of that. Um, another big red flag. When they start giving you initial upfront demands before you even like, <laughs> ha- and don't think it doesn't happen because it does, dude. Oh, dude. Uh, aside from, and, and I've, <laughs> I've known this before, and I think we've experienced this, but if somebody has booked a vacation, I, uh, and I appreciate that I mean, one. you can't get out of that. I appreciate that. And they're yeah. just being, and that has happened all the time. And I've never yeah. hold that against anybody, yes. right? Whether yeah. or not they're hired and they're telling me, yeah. just so you know, you know, I am going to be gone for a week in no. September if this works out. Yes. In, in, as long just, as they're like, just, if this yeah. works out right. and whatever, right? Yeah, then but that's cool. <laughs> when they're like, oh, so <laughs> do you guys have um, vegan food Fridays here? Because um, yeah, that's, that's all I'll do. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Dude, no. <laughs> Do you have a lot of natural sunlight back there? Because um, vitamin D really affects yeah. my creativity. I'm going to need quiet from 9 until 10. <laughs> just from everybody, from all the employees. I, I, I appreciate soft music, <laughs> tranquil. Yeah, none of that Zeppelin yeah. stuff, please. Yeah. <laughs> and, um, and, and last but not least, a big red flag that people don't think anything of is, is when the interviewee doesn't ask any questions oh seriously that's it's you don't think of it yeah right because it's like well do you have any questions for us yeah um nope i'm good thanks yeah. well well then you obviously don't want this job because you haven't <laughs> done any you're not curious about the role you're not curious you're just here to answer all the questions yes. like again that's a really really big red yeah, flag that's right? pretty that's pretty bad shows no engagement no interest no anything yeah no can't yeah. do that can't do that yeah that's not that's not good Although I did do that once with that. You remember that job that I was telling you that I went on? It was like, I had that. Yeah, got that. I, I literally <laughs> went down the really? list I, and it was just like, he, he said, do you have any questions? And I'm like, I think we pretty much covered it all. I told you exactly what I could do <laughs> yeah. and what you have here. But I was, I was, I think now in retrospect, <laughs> that was a bit of a stupid move. Maybe not a good thing to do, huh? <laughs> No, no, yeah, no, no, no. Yeah. That's fine. That's fine. No, that's um, definitely had some, um, over the years though, I had some interesting interviews you've had some disasters i've had some amazing stories you know some i've already talked about but like you know some of our some of our questions you know so you know we we have questions and one of the questions is um you know can you give me you know give me one word to describe you (laughs) on a whole right give me one word one word if you could describe who you are one word what is it yeah and this guy was like (laughs) it's going okay his interview was good and um comes to this part of the question what's that one word he stops, he thinks about it, looks at me and smiles, and he's like, handsome. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I read ahead on that one. I was just, just like, holy shit, you've got to be. <laughs> <laughs> handsome. <laughs> 
You're kidding. That like this, how does this help here? Oh, well, the ladies better watch oh, out. Handsome. Handsome. Yeah, not talented. <laughs> handsome. Jesus. Yeah, needless to say, right? Or um, we had somebody who came in and it's like we interviewed her and she seemed like she was all right. She was she was a little older and that's okay. And she was, you know, and it's just like, so like, um, you know, what, what, what about this job interested you? What did you want? And she's like, well, I'm kind of, you know, got this side gig going on at the market right now. So, you know, I can't actually work, you know, Thursday mornings because that's market morning. Um, but I thought this would be fun to, you know, explore a, a new kind of future before I move out to Windsor. Oh my uh, God. And it's just like, so, so you're, you're just telling even... me you're only looking for something <laughs> temporarily. <laughs> like you might want to keep that to yourself. Wow. <laughs> like, Wow. So, so this job will, will do in the short term and help me get there. And she's like, well, I'm glad you don't really, you know. Uh, that's, that's being honest to a fault. <laughs> to a fault. Because <laughs> it's, you know, anybody can be a graphic designer, right? Yeah, we just, I mean, you know, now, nowadays with yeah. like Canva yeah. and that, what, that Illustrator. Illustrator. I got right. Microsoft Paint on yeah, my computer. Right. I can do this. Whatever. <laughs> Or, um, you know, recently the unprepared girl and like there was nothing prepared. Yeah. It's like, nothing you know, asking her, you know, like, so do you have any questions about us? She's like, no, no, oh. no question. Well, well, what do you know about us? Well, um, not too much. Um, <laughs> I went to your website. It was cool. Yeah. Looked like you had a really fun place to work at. <laughs> Oh, okay. Thanks. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Right. yeah you, you have clients. Yeah. <laughs> you um, have clients. it looks like you work with clients that are small and large. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Just, dude, this is the shit that she was oh, saying. My God. This was this week. Really? This was this week's interview. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Just like, yes. Yes. Yeah. We do have clients. <laughs> And you do Small like, you do um, graphic work <laughs> and stuff. And like when you go to our, our site doesn't oh, say much because yeah. we're so freaking busy. We haven't been able to do it. But this is true. the one thing it says when you land on that page mm -hmm. is we work with B2B companies, <laughs> brand strategy, creative design, right? Like it's, yeah. it's right there. Yeah, it's exactly. like, no, Write that she, down. She kind of missed that. <laughs> it's the first thing. But she did comment oh. that I went on your website and then when I went the next day and I saw that it said, welcome to the next day. I thought that was funny. <laughs> just like, shut up, shut up. Yeah, just stop talking. Oh, dude. <laughs> Do you know, we even had, um, even oh. had a girl um, within the first five minutes of the interview. It started off a little rough. She was a little nervous and this and that. Mm -hmm. And I was just like, are you all right? Like, you know, you want to take a breath or something? She's like, then it came out. Okay, I can't hold this in anymore. I'm sorry. My boyfriend just dumped me yesterday, and oh. that was it. She broke out in she tears. Started she started crying. It ended up being a therapy session. I should have oh. sent her a fucking bill for this, because <laughs> consoling her. Well, did you did you did you, did you try talking to him? Did you did you, did you, did you like? Oh. Just, there was no interview. Oh Needless to God, say, really? she forgot she even was here for an interview, and she left. She hugged us, thank you, and left. It was just like, what the fuck happened? Wow. Like, yeah, that was pretty bad. Oh, man. That's... Yeah. That's... Wouldn't you be able to... <laughs> now, see, what would happen? You if, actually look like you feel bad for her. I, I do. Because I, I, that, that's, that's pretty tough. Like... It would be hard to refocus on that because uh, these, these are two big events in your life, right? Yeah, yeah, okay, Applying fair for enough. a job and getting a job interview and then your boyfriend dumping <laughs> you, which would be pretty bad. But yeah. what would happen, say, out of curiosity, if she called and said, tomorrow is not a good time, can we reschedule? That's for, the thing. She should have that, done that. Would that work for Absolutely. you? Absolutely. It you works would with almost that. anybody. I think, I, I don't know any employer that would get so bent out of shame yeah. if somebody, you know, in, with, with an advance notice. Yeah. Something has come up. I'm really sorry. Yes. I, I don't think I'll be able to give you the interview that you deserve or, right. or whatever. Can we reschedule? Clearly she couldn't. She, oh, my God, yeah. dude. Yeah. She couldn't even. <laughs> she, she couldn't do it. <laughs> wow. Oh, my you heart know, goes out to that poor uh, girl. But, but you still. Know, you mean, know, and we've had other ones. Like, we've had, um, you know, we had one. One of the most unique ones was, like, she was a nervous wreck. Mm, we knew oh, she was a nervous wreck. Oh, no. The, this one, she was a disaster. Mm. The worst. But it came to a point where it was just like, I called her out, and I'm like, wow, you're really not good at these. <laughs> and I started laughing. I'm sorry. I'm not. <laughs> and then she would get really nervous, and she'd have this giggle. <laughs> And so, and, and, and so, of course, you have fun with it. Yeah. So then you start teasing her about it, which made her feel more uncomfortable. But it actually, but she was the most 
<laughs> awkward interview. The worst really? interview she was. Wow. And we hired you her. You hired her anyway. Of course. And she was great designer, bad employee, great designer. Great designer. But, yep. and it was, but, and I mean, and the thing is, everybody loved her. Okay. Mm. Whatever. She she's was awesome. She's an yeah. awesome, awesome, awesome if girl. I think she's I know, great I know person. the one you're talking yeah. about. Yes. Awesome person. Fantastic fucking designer. Worst mm. interview ever, though. <laughs> and that was maybe telltale of long term hey. personality, you know, defuncts yeah. and stuff. Um, <laughs> but that was the best. And again, the best part was calling her out on this stuff, right? <laughs> but she was a really good fucking designer. Did, did so. that put her at ease at all? Yes. Or it did. It See? did. 100%. And this is the, this is the kind of thing that I think there's a stigma attached to to interviews nope. like it's and it shouldn't really be hard. right it, no it, it shouldn't and and I, I'm gonna say I'm gonna go out on a limb here and yeah, I'm gonna yeah, say yeah, please. you operate on a different kind of playing field with this maybe stuff. I don't think a lot of people do I, well I there's think no I think everybody in uh, in my side of the table tries to um, break down the other person's barriers to see what they're really to like like the, now, to maybe bring some, it out of them I know, may, may, maybe some of them maybe aren't as flamboyant as I am yeah. where I will actually mock them and make and like I will actually make fun of them until they they're like okay fine uh, and let's you got me, not got like it. bully tease them but you know what like yeah, you're yeah. like wow you're fucking nervous it's okay dude let's have fun with this exactly and it does it, it brings but I think everybody, yeah. um, in one way or another, tries to bring down the barriers. Yeah. Right. I yeah. think that's the key. Right. Yes. So yeah. it's not like they're the enemy. Yeah. Right. Like the person who's trying to interview is trying to get yeah. the real yeah. you. Yes. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Right? exactly. But it's also it's there's there's it's very it's very nerve wracking. Yes, you know it is. I mean? like, yes, it future is. Future. Absolutely, about it is. And Absolutely. It hangs in the balance with somebody else. And it's yeah. like, but yeah, um, that's that's. Absolutely fascinating. I'm I'm glad that she got hired. She did absolutely. Uh, even though it didn't really work out, and it was but, a fun interview. I'm not gonna but, lie. But this is the thing. It was like fun. If you really enjoyed it, and and clearly it yeah. meant something to you because you're talking oh, dude, about it. Oh, dude, I do love interviewing people. But I mean, again, the candidates uh, when they're good, the yes. stories are far and few. And I realize that interviewing isn't exactly an easy thing. And yes. there is just some shit that people are missing that is just so obvious. Yeah. And it's just like, so, so that was the whole point tonight mm -hmm. was to actually break this down. And so, okay. So the next thing, I actually got some notes here, mm -hmm. what we're going to do. I mean, we're going to give you advice here, yeah. but we're breaking it down into things to do before the interview, yeah. things to consider during the interview mm -hmm. and then things to do after. Right. Keep this shit in mind. All right. And you can even use a lot of this for presentations mm -hmm. when you're going to pitch customers. Yes. Think about it. You're meeting a customer for the very first it's time. It's like an interview. It is an interview. It is 100%. an interview. There you go. Yes. And everything that I'm saying here yeah. applies exactly to meeting a customer for yes. the first time. Just because it's not an interview for a job, mm -hmm. it is an interview for a job. Okay. Yeah. You're like right. 100% it, really, it is. Really, it is. Yeah. 100%. Yeah. So this shit, and, and again, you know what? We'll call out the ones that don't apply, but dude, seriously, mm -hmm. so much of this is transferable it's ridiculous yeah you're right you're okay. right and it's good to, to be good at this oh i, I think, think so yeah absolutely it, it, it helps you along the way all the way through your career like you said this will help you land clients it 100 percent does 100%, yeah. because these, all these, these shit exactly yeah, right yeah, yeah so before the interview this is where mm -hmm. we're going to start okay yeah. things to do before the interview don't get okay? dumped <laughs> don't get dumped <laughs> If if your boyfriend or girlfriend yeah. calls you the night before, just call it off. Yeah, yeah. just no, no. Yeah, <laughs> just, don't take that call. Reschedule. Let reschedule. me call you. Up. <laughs> oh, that's terrible. All right, before the interview, first and foremost, okay, you've got to amp up your digital game. And what I mean by this is the first place everybody goes when we're looking at interviews. If I see an, if, if a resume comes in or an application from wherever we are, Workopolis, Indeed, you know, like uh, whatever the stupid place is, um, even straight from LinkedIn, right? The first thing I do is I'll scan their, their resume, but then I'm online. OK, mm -hmm. I'm checking out their LinkedIn profile. Right. Yeah. I'm actually checking out their Behance account. I'm checking out if they have a Dribbble account or not. Right? right. I'm like searching that person. Right. And so the key is even before you do these interviews, you got to get on there. You got to mm -hmm. really amp up what your digital game is. Right. right. Like, right. honestly, do yourself a favor and type your name into Google and see what comes up. Oh, big thing. Right. Like yeah. all of a sudden, if all these drunken frat pictures, <laughs> you know, from Facebook come up. Maybe not the best impression. Make, make sure those are on page two or three, right? Like literally like focus on, you know, what comes up and what people are going to look, yes, right? Because yes. that is where people are going to look. That's exactly it. Okay. And, and they're going to see if you're a fucking Chad, they're going to be like, no, yeah. I'm, not, I'm not hiring this guy. Right. He's a freaking alcoholic. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I love that. If you're going to be a Chad. <laughs> cheers, Chad. <laughs> Salute, Chad. <laughs> Get the job first and then become an alcoholic. And then become an alcoholic. <laughs> 
So first and foremost, right? Make sure your digital game, you know, your social plan, make sure that's up to speed, right? Yeah. And you got to number one, right? Yeah. Because that will get checked. That's how we, we creep people, right? That's yeah. what we all do, right? Yeah, exactly. You want to know who you're dealing with, right? Yeah. yeah. Um, number two, you have to, and this one shocks me, but you have to review common graphic design industry terms. Mm. So many times I'll ask somebody so stupid, like, so what, what's designed to you? Mm -hmm. And they freeze. Yeah, it's like, uh, uh, it's, it's like, dude, you, what I want to do. Yeah. Yeah. You've been working now for three, four five years. Yeah. What's, what's your definition of design? There's, yeah. and I'm like, there is no single definite. What's your definite. And the funny thing is ask yourself right now, somebody was coming to you and be like, yeah. What's your definition of design? Yeah. How eloquent can you put that back? Do you know, in all those years, I've had a handful of people. I'm, I must have had hundreds of fucking interviews. Mm. And there's been a handful of people that could confidently give me an answer. I didn't care if it was right or wrong. I yeah. just wanted to see if they actually had an answer, right? right, right. Like things like, you know, what's a brand? Yeah. Right. This girl was bumbling around telling me about A-B testing. Well, mm. obviously she wasn't prepared to answer this <laughs> yeah, question. Exactly. Right. Like seriously, like little things like that. What's UX? What's you? Mm. I mean, this shows number one, you know, that you, number, you understand what the hell it is you do. What you're doing. Yes. But even more so that you want your current understand trends, the industry. Right? right. Right. Whether it's right or wrong. And you can always, you know, preface the whole thing by like, well, in my opinion, mm -hmm. UX is this, yes. you know, UI is that yeah. um, branding is this. Um, even another one, like what's a graphic designer's role? Yeah. Like people freeze. Yeah. And it's funny. Wow. They don't, it, it's such, it's something that we deal with all the time, but they're not yeah. expecting it. Yeah. Cause they're like, well, well, this is a graphic design position. Don't yeah, you know? You should know. Exactly and I was this, like, but... yeah, dude, your interview's done. Cause <laughs> I know, but you don't. That was one. Yeah. We had one of those. Really? Yeah. Holy yeah. shit. Well, it's true. Wow. It's so true. Yeah. It's, it's ridiculous. So, mm -hmm. um, you know, very basic, but that's great. Yeah. Review your basic, you know, your most common industry terms. Right. Yeah. yeah. Um, okay. Here's another shocking mm -hmm. one. Okay. Before the interview, practice answering the most common personal questions, yes. right? Be prepared for these stupid things. Don't, don't be shocked when they ask you. And what I'm talking about is like, if somebody asks you something similar, so how's your day going today? People usually stop and they're like, um, uh, good, uh, well, thanks. Yeah. No, dude, like, you know, this is a fucking great day. Thanks. I, you know, I had a Starbucks before this yeah, or yeah. whatever. Like, oh, well, give me some people freeze because yeah. they're shocked at this. It's like, right. we're fucking humans, right? Yes, so like, exactly. Like, we're people. These, yeah. Oh, but again, but again, I think this is an unconventional way of doing this kind of stuff. Uh, I think, but then I'm talking about here being human. Yeah. Well, no, like, that's what yeah, I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You're, 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 I think you're absolutely right. But like, I think if you go into say, I don't know, some sort of insurance company. Yep. You know, they're not going to ask you how your day is. Well, kind of. You know, in the sense of, in the sense of the person who greets you at the front that takes oh, you to the interview oh, room, they're going to be like, oh, hey, you know, uh, are you're Massimo, you're the next interview. Yes. Yeah, we're going to be with you. And it can be five minutes, right? Yes. They're going to come back and they're like, oh, so. And then it's small talk. How's your day been? Yes. If you like tense up and you're like. You just, fine. fine. Yeah, I'm good. Fine. You just the, the, your, but, yeah. No, done. Because that person has power to influence everybody else, even in those environments. Right. I think we Dude, talked about yes, that. Always we did, be, right? Always be nice to the receptionist. To everybody. Yeah, like, to but everybody. you're right. Because yeah. they all have influencing yeah, power one exactly. way or another, right? Exactly. But like, even like simple questions, like, you know, I've, I've had people, why did you want to become a graphic designer? Mm. And, you know, people, they, I've had some of the stupidest fucking answers, right? <laughs> well, you know, I had to do something when high school was done and, and I was good at art when I was a kid. So I thought, why not? So I went to school for graphic design. Great. <laughs> You're a good, passionate one, aren't you? You know, or, you know, well, because it was something to do or like uh, be prepared to have the most basic answers, right? Yes. Why did you choose that college that you went to? Right. Yeah. Um, you know, what are your, the big one, what are your strengths and weaknesses? Mm. People freeze because yeah. these, these are like, I guess, kind of like in, 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 in vein of last week's, um, you know, podcast, mm. like soft skill type questions. Right. Exactly. Right. Yes. These aren't technical. Yeah. These are to, to be like, you know, what's, what's your life like? What are you yeah. like? What's They're your personality? Person. Yeah. Yeah. Be prepared and go yeah. through some of the most common type of questions that yes. people are going to ask you. Right. Like yeah. even questions like how do you handle deadlines? Yeah. Right. Again, how many times I thought I th you'd think everybody would be able to answer that in an interview. Exactly. So many people, it's like <laughs> I kicked them in the nuts or something. It's just, dude. 
So practice common answers, okay? Like the, the personal questions, whatever, the most yeah, basic stuff, really okay? good, yeah. Um, and then on the flip side, okay, mm. practice answering common graphic design-related questions, mm. okay? So now you've reviewed that shit earlier on. With yep. the, now that there actually might be some graphic design questions if you're yeah. going for a graphic design interview. <laughs> exactly. Okay? Yeah. So, you know, like questions like, what do you think makes somebody a good designer? Yeah. Makes sense, right? There. If you if they don't ask you that, they chances are they're going to ask you some sort of question in line with that that yes. you can still answer, right? Yeah. Um, where do you get design inspiration from? Mm. How many people haven't been able to answer that shit when wow. I ask? Dude, right? And it's just like, Jeez. I remember, oh, sometimes I just go for a walk <laughs> in the woods and I look around and that's where I get inspiration. Fuck you, you do. <laughs> Because I love the woods by my house, but after a while, it looks the same. Exactly. So unless everyone yeah. in my job looks the same, no. But having said that, if, yeah. you, if you're if you out doing something or you're in the shower, the shower thoughts. Oh, 100%. Sometimes you get a great, sometimes I'm laying down in bed and I'm thinking, oh, I could do this tomorrow yes. for this job. Fair. You know what I mean? But, but again- you have questions. Like you yes. can answer that. Right. Right. Like if I was to be like, Sean, how do you get inspiration? <laughs> well, sometimes when I'm in bed late at night, I do. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You just it's can't a, answer the X-rated <laughs> version is how, how the creative inspiration yeah. comes. <laughs> this is what yes, we know, right? A... We were all waiting for Sean to say something like this. So I just went there for him. That's right. This is, a, this is the clean version. <laughs> the clean version. But it's true, right? Yeah, like there's yeah. going to be some graphic wow. design questions. Is there um, a rebrand or is there a, a company that you think is doing a great job in the industry, right? Yeah. Like how do you handle negative feedback? There's going to become some graphic design questions asked to you. Yeah. Make sure you can answer them. Okay. Yeah. So um, uh, on a side note, everybody, we're going to have, we're going to try to compile a list of literally like 50 graphic design related questions and we're going to post them on our website yeah. right when this launches so at least you can get an idea of what the questions are like and practice these things yeah. right and again this just kind of puts you in that mindset i would yes. think right yep. we're going to try to hit 50 we might only do 30 <laughs> but let's see how close we get yeah yes all right so this is the 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 questions part right mm -hmm. before the interview okay most, most, most important, mm -hmm. right? Research the company that you are going to have an interview with. You know, research yeah. the company. If you can, research the industry. If yeah. it's if it's a space, if they if they niche somewhere that you're not familiar with, and if you know who's interviewing you, in, like research the people. Yeah. Find out, you know, oh shit, he's head of brand. Yeah. Oh shit, he's creative. This is your secret weapon yeah. to ask fucking questions. Yes. And again, this is huge yeah. for when you're even prospecting customers. Mm. Because if you know I'm going to I'm pitching a customer next week for our first time interview and I'm meeting with the head of brand and head of this, well shit, you know what? Perfect opportunity. So as branding in the security space, that must be tricky. Oh. How is that different than any other space that you've been to? Right. Yeah. All of a sudden you you get them talking they're like wow this person's asking me about my role yeah. so as a as a uh, freelancer going to a new new prospect or as an interviewee for a job yeah. you start asking them you know you research them you ask them these questions you engage them all of a sudden they're going to remember you yeah because now you're not just checking like, the boxes yeah yeah you're engaged yeah. this guy did this or this person did, did his research. research yeah yeah dude again if somebody's really, like really cool yeah. you do work with big companies <laughs> And small. small. <laughs> Thanks, guys. And Thanks. Wrong. Yeah. No, no, no. But again, like, you know, and, and if it's a new space you're not familiar with, yeah. well, you fucking better spend an hour researching Trying all to figure, the top yeah. headlines, what's going on in that space. So you sound like, and you don't have to go in there pretending you're something you're not. Mm -hmm. But if somebody said, what do you know about our industry? And you can, you can be honest and be like, you know what? I, I I just researched it, you know, prior to this interview, and there's a lot of really interesting facts. I thought this was interesting. I thought this, you know, you know, Zuckerberg did this mm. or Musk did that, you know. Yeah. So like, like, throw terms out there, high level stuff, and they're not yeah. going to mock you for it, no, nope. because nope. you're being honest about you're, it. You're, yeah, yeah, you're just, you've done the research, you're, right? And that's yeah. it. Show interest. Yeah, and that's that's the one thing that we try to figure out and gauge when we're interviewing people, yeah. right? Yeah. So um, another thing before the interview, right? Make sure now that you've researched the company, the people, the industry, actually have some questions that, you know, prepare some questions that you're going to ask them back. Yeah. Not annoying ones like, yeah. what's payroll like? What's vacation like? You <laughs> deserve a fucking slap in the <laughs> head if that comes out of your mouth. Seriously. Oh, that one drives me nuts. But I mean, like questions, because again, it shows 
again, big, big X. Yeah. If nobody has questions for us after yes. our interview. Yes. No, I don't even want to consider these fucking people, right? <laughs> you, you can ask them about the size of their team, the experience yeah. of the team, the makeup of yeah. their team that you, you potentially would be working with. You know, what the, what the roles of the people that, you know, um, yeah. that you're, they're being interviewed, what, what their roles are like, what yeah. is a day you know, and the life look like what's expected of me with the first what two, is it, three weeks when exactly, I get in there. Yes. Right. Exactly. Things like, an, yeah. What does an average day look like? What it, yeah. What, what, what will I be doing here like, when I'm here? This just shows, you know, amazing. And this is just yeah. about the role. Yeah. Imagine if you kick it up a notch and ask questions about the company, yeah. then it shows you're actually engaged and interested. Right. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, what, what have been some of the struggles that the company's yeah, had? Where are we going? Uh, against like, with the competition. Yeah. Yeah. Dude. yeah. And again, I, I love that yes. shit. Yeah, I've had people come in here and be like, wow. So you focus on, you know, digital B2B companies, right? Yeah, yeah. Generally, B2B companies are boring and yeah. you guys make it not. What's your secret? How do you do that? And I'm just like, that was the biggest kiss ass, but I love but you. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm I'll take it. Do. It's true. It's true. They inter- they knew enough to ask yeah. and um, it didn't work out for them. But again, yeah, I still, still referred them to somebody else oh. for exactly that reason. They just weren't our fit, yeah. but it, it still, it was just like, that's the person I want, right? Mm. So, um, Research questions. Research again. Prepare the prepare questions that you have to have forward. Okay, yeah. absolutely, absolutely. You got to do this. Yeah. Um, funny, but make sure you actually bring hard copies of your resume if you're in person. Uh-huh. Well, the world is starting to open up. Yes, it is starting to open up, right? Yeah. So if this is obviously this doesn't apply if um, this in particular doesn't apply if it's going to be a, a digital Zoom, Google Meets, whatever, right? Yeah. But if you're going in person, right? You know, after that awesome handshake that you're going to give them and the <laughs> eye to eye contact, right? You make sure you have copies of your. And I'll tell you why. It's like, yeah, you may have emailed it to them, yeah. But the person who's interviewing or the people who's interviewing are fucking busy. Yeah, there's a lot of emails coming in, and there. there's a good yeah. chance that they didn't print it out while they were trying to run to make to your fucking interview. Exactly. You know, like don't be all high and mighty. Bring copies and make sure it's the latest versions yes. of your copy. Right? right. Absolutely. Yeah. Right. So do it. Um, yeah, they should have it, but they're too busy to, to have it. Mm. So do them a favor, bring it. There might be other Just people that show up yeah. in that interview and you can like wow them because it's a good conversation yeah. starter. Yeah. Right. That's, that's smart. Um, and the part that I think is hilarious, um, you know, as designers, we often carry on portfolios, mm-hmm. but so few designers design the portfolios Mm. they literally slap shit in there it's like that briefcase you open up and shit falls everywhere (laughs) and it's just like dude like you know give me an hour or two of your time go through it (laughs) cut paste design it you know even if you have to print out full slicks of of whatever it is that you're going to prepare for that interview right this is that one time when it's okay to not um just talk about um you know when you're defending your work you know how we always profess you know don't make it personal yeah. make it about your experience make it yeah. about facts make yes. it about past work this is that one time when when you're supposed to talk about why you did it the way you did it you yes. know yes. you don't have to go on about industry you can also this is the only time yeah. people, y- your opinion cares exactly. it matters yeah that's that's this is it yeah so tailor your <laughs> damn portfolio so <laughs> do it does that. this <laughs> Like, oh, it's so horrible, right? Like, yeah. and, and not only that, you know, go through your portfolio, understand the business cases for the shit that you've done. Mm. Not just like, oh, you know, they need a new logo, so here you go, yeah. right? No, yeah. they needed to rebrand the company. They needed to go from a fish market to a, a fish and steak market yeah. and whatever. Right? Yeah. It's a stupid example, but no, good. <laughs> but you, you know what I mean, right? And so yeah. The, yeah. this is why I came up with this. Like, make sure there's a business case because then it shows that you understand more than just, the, you know, what's put in front of you exactly exactly right um so i totally recommend this you have to do this Mm. and last but not least as old school as it is prepare your appearance Mm. i get it this is cool this is creative right and i totally get that it doesn't mean that you're coming in with wrinkled clothes sloppy clothes whatever right i'm not saying going with a suit because i'm i'm not actually a believer of suits and especially (laughs) in our world but i mean if, if you're going to a place it's a little bit more edgy. So I am not a fan of somebody dressing up in a suit. I, I, I don't mm. think that our industry calls for that. You know, sport jacket, t-shirt, jeans, cool, yeah. right? With a pair of Converse. That's that's often my go-to during, you know, customer meetings, right? right? right. Which is totally cool. Yeah. But I mean, if it's an edgier place like this, right? Mm. You can show up in edgier clothes, yeah. but make sure they look clean. Yeah, at least that they're, they're not fucking ripped. <laughs> you know, they're not wrinkled, right? Yes. Like there is something like it's, you know, it, it's up to you how, how far you want to go in that that whole spectrum of dressing her up or dressing yourself down, but yeah. you still have to look clean, put yes. together, like you showered, like you actually put in an effort yes, to be there. Yes. Yeah. 
It's a fucking first date. Yeah, yeah, right. Right. You're right. <laughs> and I mean, for those of you who haven't had many second dates, shower. <laughs> Seriously. Yeah, yeah it's, it, it sounds so silly, dude, but it's like little <laughs> things like that. Are, yeah, you're right. Sometimes people try too hard to make a statement using their clothes and yeah. it just, it hurts them. Mm-hmm. Dude, it's like, stop, stop now, yeah. right? And you're, you're, you're only, it's, a, it's too big yeah. of a mission to try to cover here, right? <laughs> well, there's people that think, well, my clothes aren't going to matter. Yeah. They don't make me a good designer. If, if I have my clothes, <laughs> do I exist? If I have good clothes? No, but... I'd want to be in the same room with you because yeah, you're exactly. not going to smell. Like, if this is the best thing you've got for a first interview, then what the hell's your day to day shit look like? Right, right. Oh, yeah. horrible. And yeah. um, and last but not least, of things to do before the interview, make sure you know where you're fucking going so you oh. can arrive on time. In case places move, in case there's all of a sudden construction down the route that you got to get there, yep. you don't want to arrive late. Mm-hmm. Huge turnoff. Yeah. Somebody arrives late, it's almost it's a write-up. Done. You might as well just, yep. if you're if you're 10 minutes late, yep. you might yep. as well just leave because yep. that's it, you're done. I don't yep. even want to waste my time, yep. right? Um, always, always, always arrive on time. And in order to do that, just make sure you 100% know where you have to go. Right, hundred percent. In fact, me personally, mm-hmm. what I do before even seeing a customer for the first time is I actually even send an email before the meeting. Oh. So the day of meeting, if it's like a little later, like 10, 11, 12, yeah. I will even hit them up in the morning and be like, hey, dropping your line, saying I'm really excited for the meeting today. Mm-hmm. You know, um, you know, I look forward to seeing you at this location. If anything comes up, let me know. Yeah. Done, right? Because yeah. on occasion, shit's happened. Yes. But um, you know, it's cool. And they're like, wow. Thanks for that. Yes. I remembered, so I wasn't like half-assed, you know, flustered five minutes before realizing I had to meet you. Right, right. So oh, that's pe- good. Should, pe- yeah. people appreciate that. I always used to do a drive-by. Yeah. Oh, like, drive-by is huge. Yeah. It was just like, Absolutely. okay, there's where it is. So at least I know where I'm going. Exactly. <laughs> right. If, if you're taking the bus, make oh, sure you yeah, know you the know bus schedule. Room, you know how long it's going to take. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Because there's honestly, it's like nobody really cares. You can give whatever excuse. Yeah. Dude. But uh, dude, it's, it's, I had a guy, fucking guy. <laughs> and, and I feel so bad because I was so looking forward to this dude. And <laughs> time came, two o'clock, nothing. Oh. Crickets. I'm like fucking guy, two thirty, two thirty, oh, half an hour geez. later, I get an email. Hey, I'm really sorry. I ended up being really, really sick, which is why I missed the interview. Can we reschedule? And I was like, Fuck you. No. Yeah. Fuck you. I was like, <laughs> No, I'm sorry. You yeah. know, uh, it just doesn't work. It's really busy. This was the time slot. You know, you should have let me know before your interview. Maybe. He's like. And then he replied, holy cow, man, I'm sick. That's why I didn't show up. I'm like, if you were, and I replied, I said, if you were actually sick, yeah. you would have called, you would have emailed me hours ago, oh, yeah. not half an hour later. Exactly. So unfortunately, I have other yeah. people who want to work. Yes. Thank you very much. Yeah. Done. Goodbye. Yeah. Lose my number. <laughs> Fuck. I couldn't. And I was like totally, I was, I, well, I mean, I was looking forward to this guy. And in the end, it was mm. obvious telltale. I don't care. Yeah, I think it, maybe he's hung over or maybe he's fucking baked. I don't a, know. Something shit, fucked up. But that's a shitty excuse. You're absolutely right. He's just like first thing in the morning or two hours before. Whatever. No problem. Hundred percent, dude. I am knocked out with the hundred percent. I'm sorry. Can we reschedule? How easy would that be? Hundred percent. Right. Hundred percent. When you're doing a half an hour after. Yeah. As soon as you're after, you, you forget, don't it. even bother. Yeah, you yeah. Just something was wrong. Yeah. That's fucked up. All right, so wow. fine. First and foremost, that, keep that shit in mind yeah. before the interview. Do all that, and that's all the preparation before the interview, mm-hmm. okay? And this also works perfectly before a client pitch, the yep. first time you've ever met a client. Yep. Remember that, okay? Yes. During the interview, Ooh. okay? So now this shit is yeah, you're there. during yep. the interview, right. okay? First and foremost, mm. the first thing you do in that <laughs> interview, and I'm shocked how many people don't do this, <laughs> yeah. Introduce yourself to the people in the room. Oh. People, they, they'll show up, right? Oh. And they just sit down. Hi. As though you're expecting, what if I was to interview the wrong person by oh. accident? What if I had the wrong, you know, like <laughs> res- resume? I am impressed when people come in, they extend their hand, yeah. right? And they're like, hi, I'm so-and-so. Nice to meet you. All of a sudden, it breaks down barriers. It changes the rapport, right? Mm. If it's one of these environments now with this whole COVID shit that we've been dealing with, right. yeah, you don't want to shake hands. You know what? Fist bump. Make a fucking joke yeah. about it. Be like, hey, I'm Massimo. Yeah. I don't know what's <laughs> protocol right now. So let's just air high five. Air I high don't five. know what. Exactly. Make a yeah. joke. <laughs> you know, you don't have to be. Any, okay, fine. You're not an extrovert. Yeah. Fine. Just be like, um, yeah. do you want to shake hands? Yeah. Whatever. But introduce yourself. Yes. So many people are just kind of like quietly 
escorted into yeah. my seat. It's like, okay, thank yeah. you. Like, dude, that's not starting off on a strong note, mm. right? So whether it's you, whether it's, a, it's for a new customer, whether it's for an interview, introduce yourself right away. Your yeah. name, hi, I'm Massimo from Z Factor. Right. Done, right? Yeah. Like that's a huge, that's that's a presence. Yeah. And that's what you want to do. You want them to be like, oh, they, they, they've arrived, yeah. right? If yeah. there's three people in that room, Remember then, them if yeah, you can, right? Exactly, because they probably don't know who you are. Absolutely. So right? yeah, you, you would make you want to make sure that yeah, you're the right person in Dude, the right place. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. You get their names, Interesting. right? And Interesting. work hard to remember their names. Yeah. Seriously, yeah. work hard. That's tough. It is tough. Yeah. But and it's tough if there's 20 people in the room. Mm -hmm. Most interviews are one to three people. Yeah. Okay. If you can remember one to three people's names, mm -hmm. okay, and you can slide their name into the interview process while you're talking to him, right. dude, you're gold. Yeah. You're gold. Yeah. Right. Because again, uh, you know, uh, it sounds pretty um, self-serving. It sounds pretty arrogant, but apparently the word people like to hear more than anything else in the world is their name. Oh, no way. Right. Oh. When it's used in the right context. <laughs> oh, wow. You know, when it's like, Hey Sean. Yeah. Not yeah. Sean, <laughs> get your ass in here. Oh yeah. That's not good. Right. <laughs> so again, Get their name, and if you can, work hard. Try, or at least remember one of their names. Yes. Okay, and if you can somehow you throw it into a conversation, throw it in, or even at the very end if you have to. But again, try in the meantime, right? Yeah, yeah that, that's that's really good. Um, again, eye contact, huge. Yeah. If you can do that, work hard at the eye contact thing. Yeah. I can't stress that enough. It's so old school, yeah. but we do pay attention mm -hmm. when people look around elsewhere other yeah. than, or when they're avoiding your yes. eyes because when they're avoiding it's like they're hiding shit they're they're not confident yeah. you start wondering why are they not looking or at lying. me why or lying as yeah. they're looking and they're all over <laughs> exactly yeah as hard as you can yeah. look at them in the eyes yeah okay when you're talking to them because it shows that you're engaged you got focus yeah all right yeah that's that's great um you know Shit. stay calm mm. stay calm and don't babble right oh. people don't understand oh. that it's okay Take a breath yep. before you answer a question. Mm -hmm. Okay, don't make it very extravagant. Don't be like, <gasps> what wow. time like? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it's all right to like when you're asked a question. It's absolutely okay to pause for half a second, a second, mm -hmm. think about the answer, take a breath, and respond with a good answer. Yeah, much better than having someone bark the answer right away when you're making it. It's like, yeah, exactly. holy shit, Whoa. I don't even know. What? Relax, diarrhea. relax, relax. Yeah. <laughs> so again, um, stay calm. Yeah. Don't babble. Right. Yeah. Take a breath if you have to, and make sure like you answer the questions that are asked of you. Yeah. Okay. And that's why I'm saying it's better to take that breath because often what happens is people they get nervous and they babble mm. and they don't even answer the question. And you don't answer the question. They talk yep. around it so yep, much. Yep, yep. Not saying it's a bad thing. Yep. But often it's hard to get the answer because yeah. Uh, many times I'm like, so then <laughs> what is the answer? Yeah. Exactly. And a lot of times you forget the friggin' question. What? When you're, right. when you're circling around it. So, you know what I mean? Like, it's you're really not doing yourself any favors by doing that. Absolutely. Keep it, keep it short, sweet, but, yeah. you know, also embellish it, too, a little Absolutely. bit. You Absolutely, yeah. if you can. <laughs> okay, everybody, I hope you enjoyed the first half of this mega episode of, you know, interview process. And this isn't just interviewing. Use this for prospects. Use this to get you some business. Yes. By all means. I mean, these skills are transferable. They're awesome. Apparently, we have so much damn stuff to talk about in this episode. We've got to break it up into two episodes. <laughs> Two. Two. So it's before we say, I know, right? <laughs> he was creeping to there, but we want to be respectful. So by all means, please don't forget about a contest. You know, leave us a review. Hit us up on Instagram that you did, and you'll be entered into where in, into winning a pair of, uh, or at least draw into potentially winning a pair of Apple AirPods. Yeah. And, um, nice. you know, hit us up on Instagram. We've got a great community of people. We're engaged. We're trying to get back to everybody who leaves a comment or leaves us a message. And, um, yeah, share us through Apple share us through spotify show the love across the board mm -hmm. all right everybody my name is massimo hey my name is sean stay creative and stay angry peace, peace.